All right, Conor McGregor KO'd Dustin Poirier last night. And, uh, you know, slightly shocked by that, slightly. I mean, um, thought it would have been a little bit, I mean, we knew, we knew, we knew McGregor. I mean, everybody knows that he's going to destroy all these guys. But in MMA, you never know. So you're just like, man. It's like almost like, you know, you, I kind of get the feeling like he's going to jinx himself by talking so much. But, uh, heck, man, I, I get, none of that means anything. It really doesn't. Um, he's just destroying these guys. That's, that's what it comes down to. I think if he fights Jose Aldo, he will win. I think McGregor will beat him. Um, but I really think he should fight the winner of, of Frankie Edgar, Cub Swanson. Beat them. Jose Aldo will be even older than by the time McGregor does fight him. Who knows? Maybe Aldo will lose. And it just won't even play out that way. But uh, it seems like for a number one contender, like, I guess we'd have to see. I mean, if Frankie destroys Cub Swanson, he's probably going to want a title shot. Um, could Frankie beat Jose? I mean, I don't know. At this point in time, maybe he could, but it seems like McGregor is just younger and stronger and just going to destroy any of these guys. But uh, it seems like the longer he waits to fight Jose Aldo, the the, the greater chance there will be of him uh, beating him. You know, I think he should fight Frankie or, uh, or, or Cub and... Then, after that, if Jose Aldo is still the champ, then go fight him. And I think he'll pretty much seal the deal on that. He'll be have more experience if he doesn't lose to Cub or Frankie. Um, but he'll have a much greater chance of beating Jose Aldo. That being said, if you throw Conor McGregor in there right now, like around the first of the year, to fight uh, to fight Aldo, I think McGregor's going to win. I really do, man. So, but anyway, crazy. He still wins. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere. Even if he loses, you could see how talented this guy is. His movement and everything. And he's such a star. He he literally could lose two fights in a row, three, and he would still be making money. Um, there's really no pressure on him. And I think he knows that. He's like, I struck it rich. And he, he's just going for broke. But But really what it comes down to is he's just better than these guys. And I think that's where a lot of that talk comes from. You know, it's not just silly like Chael Sonnen trying to hype a fight. Conor McGregor really knows that he's better and that he can knock these guys out. He, he really, he knows it. He knew it more than we knew it. And everybody, we're all starting to know it for sure. So, But it's definitely exciting, man. I can't imagine if, if McGregor wasn't in the, the weight class. It would just be really, really boring. So... I like McGregor and I am rooting for him, but, you know, I'm just game to see how it all plays out. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Alright, I'll see you guys later.